What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Indie Rundown Podcast. My name is Zach, joined by Mike, and we are here to do another movie review, or more like an indie film review, uh, fan film, actually. We're a sucker for fan films here, you know? We've seen some good ones. We've seen some eh ones. We've seen some dog shit ones. I mean, they come in all shapes and sizes, these fan films, but I'm happy to announce that the one we're going to review today is fucking awesome. Pardon my language for all the... Uh, young listeners out there but man oh man this thing was fucking awesome dude uh it is called michael versus jason evil emerges it is written and directed by luke petter i believe this is a family affair um it stars joshua petter and john petter i don't know the relationship obviously brothers or cousins whatever but um josh petter and john petter they star as jason and michael respectively and like i said i believe this was a family effort you know uh I think they just came together and made it themselves with family and friends and stuff like that. But here's the most impressive part about this movie is there was little to no budget, no money, no backing from anybody. I mean, to take that and do what they did with this movie, get the fuck out of here, man. That's highly impressive. I mean, I come from independent filmmaking myself and I've been there struggling to make a project with little to no money is just it's hard. It's very, very tough. But what these guys did. It's just unbelievable, man. Now, look, quick synopsis of this film. It's extremely self-explanatory. The two most iconic killers face off in battle to the death. Now, like I said before, this movie was fucking awesome. It's 29 minutes long. It's on YouTube. It's blowing up right now. I think it's got about 7.56 million views when I watched it yesterday. And it looks to keep climbing because I think last week it was only at five or six. So, yeah, man, these I don't know where these guys are marketing this, but word of mouth, this is insane, dude. I watched this yesterday, and let me tell you, man, this movie is like an adrenaline rush that fucking hits you in the face going 100 miles an hour, dude. I absolutely loved it this film dude it was fucking awesome dude i had such a good time watching it i laughed my ass off and not that it was funny not that it was stupid because these two guys no spoilers they beat the living shit out of each other i mean we see every it is ridiculous dude we see everything from axes to logs to machetes to sticks i mean dude nobody can take a hit like these fools they're just they're just uh uh it's like they're immortal, man. You know, it's like the brutality was over the top, but God damn, it was badass, man. The back and forth, the music, the editing, the action style, choreography, dude, it just, it, it worked. It worked. You know, it's nice to see a fan film from someone who actually gives a shit about the source material and they understand where these characters are coming from. Trust me, I've seen some whack-ass fan films in my day and they make no coherent sense and they have really jack shit to do with the source. So, I mean, this this was very refreshing to see that because, you know, these guys actually care. And with that, they were able to showcase these characters kind of in a classic way. I mean, Mike, Michael Myers is a fucking savage in this movie. I mean, the dude takes out three soldiers in the beginning of the film like they're just kindergartners. You know, it's, it's just, it's... It's nothing. That's the classic Michael that I grew up on and the classic Michael that I loved, which I feel like they've gotten away from in the more recent Halloween films. Um, Not the 2018 one, but some of the ones before that. But yeah, I think they nailed the looks of both of them. Jason looks so much more dirty and grungy and just raw and grimy and grotesque. It, It worked, man. The costumes were spot on, in my opinion. I loved them. The scale was impressive, dude. I mean, considering no budget, costumes, props, locations were all solid. The action sequences were fucking sick. Uh, Very well choreographed, too, man. It looks like they spent a lot of time choreographing the style of the fight and the camera angles that they were going to get. So with that said, I want to thank these guys for not making me vomit with 50 fucking cuts during an action sequence. It was very refreshing to watch. And you you could tell, man, they took their time. It's like they meticulously crafted each frame and set up the basis of why it made sense that these two were fighting each other it's not like they just threw two horror icons in a ring and said okay fight each other for no reason it just it it worked man the context was very good but like i said overall this this movie was just a fucking home run man it was awesome you know not only because they're passionate fans but considering what they had to work with you know which was next to nothing i I gotta give props to the petter family um i would love to see more of them they threw a little tag at the end i'm not going to give away what happens but uh someone give these guys like five ten grand so they can make another installment or another project because i will be there day one to see that shit so yeah i loved it let's bounce over to mike real quick and see what he's got to say about it all right so michael versus jason my thoughts really quick first off great use of the friday the 13th music when they're introducing jason who is a zombie Jason. So this guy 
is very powerful. He's going to be you are you automatically think of the Jason from Part Six who throws someone up against the wall uh, or up against a tree and, and essentially attaches his arm. This is a Jason who can squeeze someone's head in and pop an eye out. This is a Jason who can uh, punch someone through the chest and rip their heart out. So it's Zombie Jason. It's it's very strong. He's ready to roll. Now, here's the kicker, though. And, and for the record, I enjoyed this fan film. It was excellently made. Um, obviously, it was made in the UK. I thought the, those guys did a great job. It's not a horror film. This is more of a monster film. It feels like a Resident Evil film, especially one of the military guys. He's got that Wesker look with the glasses and all that stuff. So it, it is very much... Uh, imagine if it was like this was like a, a Freddy versus Jason, but in the mold of like a John Woo movie. I mean, it's in the daylight. It's, it's predominantly shot in the woods. It's more action-y. It's more like a, a King Kong versus Godzilla type of movie. But now we're going with Michael Myers. They're obviously playing off the 2018 Myers um, just by his mask, just by, I, I guess, more or less his backstory as to why he's there. They say he was hovering over a body, a dead body, and that he willingly turned himself over to the police. And his eyes show, you know, the the... the the mark from i guess going against jamie lee curtis in part one but um so he's clearly the 2018 version of myers now this is the only nitpicky thing for for me as a horror fan is if you're gonna go that route then myers is more of a stealth guy he's more of a uh, uh guy in, again the shape he's in the shadows in the dark that's how he kills someone jason he just straight up goes right at you and he doesn't give a damn what the hell is in his way. He's going to get you. He's going to kill you. Um, I almost wish, and I, I, you, a lot of people may be giving me crap for this, but what if they went the route of the Halloween 6 Myers, who is more like a, a Jason-esque guy because he, you know, he, he was twisting people's necks off. I mean, he was brutish, a very brut brutish strength that he had. He was part of the cult he was there's something supernatural about him it was it was almost lent that he was kind of like that unstoppable slasher force too so i thought maybe you know that would have been a pretty cool route in retrospect for them to go despite the fact that this is again this is all nitpicky stuff i'm just thinking as, as as a fan what would that do because i know for a fact that jason uh, particularly zombie jason would destroy myers I mean, the second he had his, <laughs> the second he had his, put his hands on him i mean it's a wrap but uh didn't change didn't detract anything from uh my inner as far as me you know my, the entertainment factor when i was watching this movie again excellently shot very well made this felt like a um proper installment in the franchise of both respective franchise um it, it, another another nitpicky thing I, I have to say why what's with the uh, obsession with with people hearing what Myers has to say, like, oh, I want to hear him say something. What, I, I don't. I never understood this. Like, who cares? Who care? What, what do you think he's going to say? Who, who cares? What he has to say, and they give him the mask. Obviously, this is cool because the, the, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nitpicking in a sense because I, I don't understand these talking these plot points. Even in a 2018 Halloween fan film, but as far as you know, serving as the impetus to drive Myers out and to show how he escapes or whatever uh it works but um i, I just don't understand why they gave him the mask and they're trying to hear what he has to say in spite of the fact that when they get to the dropout point they're ready to execute the guy so um but yeah other than all that uh i i i you know uh, not to say again not to say that detracted from the entertainment factor but those are a couple things that i saw as a fan i was just curious about but i liked it man i, I thought uh, whoever played Myers was excellent in this. Uh, whoever played Jason got his movement, everything. I mean, they, they both looked the part. Um, and the, the fight, the, the choreography was great. The way they executed the the fight scenes, which this is a pretty long battle, man. I mean, the 12 minutes is 20, 29 minute, maybe 30 minute film, 12, 14 minutes in, like Jason and Michael are already going at it. So um, definitely a fun film. Props to... The filmmakers they when i first saw this movie they were at 
God, I think they were at like 750,000 views, something like that. Now, uh, as far as as of May the 1st, they are at 7,612,231 views. So shout out to Radical Talent. Uh, made a kick-ass uh, fan film. And, uh, you know, they definitely earned my subscription. I look forward to more of their content. And it was clearly made with love. And I think uh, it was very, again, it was very well received too. So uh, go ahead and check it out. If you're a fan of horror, you want to see, you know, how this matchup turns out. We had Freddy versus Jason. Well, now we have Michael versus Jason in this as well. So uh, check it out. I enjoyed it. I think you will too. And I, I almost forgot excellent opening title sequence uh they, they made it akin to the halloween opening title sequence um but they also had uh the the, the hockey mask for for jason there as well so i thought that was very well done especially how they cut into it so excellent opening you know from the intro onto the title sequence it had me on board and again this film didn't uh did not fail to deliver all right, well, that's going to wrap up this episode. Thanks again for listening. This has been another indie film review. We've been very excited to talk about this. Michael versus Jason, Evil Emerges. Go look it up. Like I said before, it's on YouTube. Just type in Michael versus Jason. You're going to find it. And hey, who knows? Maybe one day we can get the creators of that film on our show to talk way more in depth about it because I would love to see what these guys got coming up next. So yeah, once again, follow us on social media everywhere, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, at The Indie Rundown, man. We will be back next week with more indie reviews we got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. I'm Zach. That's Mike. We're out. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown. And like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.